Um, so first of all, you're going to open the Cinema 40 um, folder, <laughs> project file, yeah, and once you've done that, you're going to just want to change your skin. The, this is using the, uh, um, this is using the Weed Lines Free Rig, so, and, I mean, it's easy and simple to edit, and anyone can really get the Free Rig, just search it, you'll on the Minecraft forums, um, and I'll probably have a link to that in the description. Um, so right, anyways, so once you've opened the Cinema 4D project, change the skin f by going to custom skin, clicking that, and then uh, finding your skin. Once you've found your skin, wherever it is, um, you're also going to want to uh, change the text, because otherwise you don't, you, you don't want to say name unless your new YouTube name is in fact name, which will be interesting if someone actually has that name. So you just change the name to whatever it is you want it to be. There we go. You might have, and depending on how long your name is, um, you might have to uh, change up how the text come in comes in with the plane right here, and. All you're going to have to do, depending on how long it is, like, my name probably is a bit too big for it. Um, yeah, it's still going to have some space. So what you're going to do, if your name is still a bit too long, what you want to do is go, click on the plane and then just pull it a bit further until you get the full name and then pre press keyframe. Well, record active object, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for um, Cinema 4D more or less. Now I use global illumination in this so it will take a bit of time to render it out so if you do want it to render faster but the lighting won't be as good you can get rid of global illumination and it will just render like this which is faster than using global illumination. So once you've done every rendered it out and you want to open up After Effects, um, throw in the uh, frames, however you do it. I, I render in PNG, but you can render in QuickTime and or whatever. So, anyways, once you've done that, um, you just want to open up. Well, before you do anything, do not delete this because this has all the uh, screen pumps and uh, fade in, fade out. So all you need to do is I would throw it in first. I would first throw in your frames with the custom animation. Uh, copy everything you see here. Like, copy the scale. I'm going to just paste it like that, and it should work. Yep. You just copy the scale, go to effects, copy the brightness and contrast, paste it into your, the, your frames, and then copy the opacity paste that in and then there we go you got the intro and yeah that's really just about it so uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, and I hope you guys like the template um, I actually sure did this seems sort of I don't know if I've seen anything like this before just like unique I might have I mean there might be one out there but who knows Anyways, that's basically it for uh, the template. All you need to do is, uh, come on, there we go. Export and render. Add render in crew, or if you use media encoder, then yeah, render with that. Anyways, that's about it for the template tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and, and I'll see you guys later.